Hey, Sparky here, SparkyOnline.com. How are you guys doing today? Hope you're having a good weekend. Uh, today I want to show you this walk-in cooler that I walked um, up to the other day and uh, noticed that MC's hanging down out of the, the ceiling. They just punctured right through the roof of the walk-in cooler and just uh, just kind of stuck them in there and sealed them up with uh, gray silicone caulk. And uh, this is not an electrician that did this. I was told that the uh, the installers of the cooler system did this. But uh, anyway, there's better ways to do this installation. And I looked up in the code book and looking under 300.7 raceways exposed to different temperatures, uh, 300.7A, uh, the ceiling. That's about all I could really find on this. But uh, I think it'd be a little bit better if that was installed in conduit and then sealed off with a approved method which uh, by the way the code book doesn't specify what approved method is so I'm assuming uh, silicone or some sort of caulking would work if anybody knows um, go ahead and post it up there so everybody can have a little bit of insight on this this is just another picture of uh, the view here of the MC's coming through now this is how they tied the the switching in. They didn't even use a chase nipple or anything on this. This is, you know, of course improper. A uh, chase nipple should have been installed there, or at least in this case, a uh, a plastic snap-in bushing. Now here's the box on the outside that they're using as a disconnect. It uh, would have been very simple just to come out of here and go straight up and penetrate that roof and then go into a J box up in the, the roof area there and then uh, uh, fill it in with the silicone or something like that but anyway uh, doing this type of work um, it's just not uh, ethical as far as I'm concerned and from what I could tell it's you know um, somebody with lack of knowledge experience um, or they were just plain lazy and they just wanted to hook it up quickly so Anyway, check out that 300.7A. Um, it uh, doesn't tell you a whole lot about walk-in coolers, but uh, hopefully this will kind of show you how not to do it. And let me just flip back here real quick. And just keep in mind, just run a conduit straight up through these, the, the ceiling of a walk-in cooler and seal it off. You'll be much better off. Hey, thanks for watching. Have a great day.